I think that Ukrainian style from the beginning is there's endless possibilities. The colors, the um, patterns, the um, the cuts that you could wear, um, the accessories you you include with it, from like a huska to um, um, the beading embroidery to uh, embroidery colors, everything. Like it's just the possibilities are endless, which is I think you know gives uh, the upper hand I guess to designers, right, um, with their traditional clothing. You know, very common fashion designers in Ukraine, like Oksana Karavanska, etc. You know, like they bring uh, new colors, for example, like the typical Vushivanka, like with the color pattern, but, you know, the uh, base material color would be, for example, like bright blue that is not characteristic in, you know, like traditional old Ukrainian culture, just because, you know, like they could not get that color from any of the nature, nature resources, right? You know, like anything that brings color and makes it bright and, uh, you know, that floral patterns are very popular in the world right now. And Ukraine is very rich in floral patterns when it comes to, you know, again, like kustas or some, you know, like right now, even like more things uh, uh, like dresses, skirts, uh, different kind of suits that are made of this, uh, based on this pattern. So there's no limit. In, I believe it was April, there was a article in Vogue on Vita King um, and her um, inspiration um with her ethnic clothing line, I guess. If you um, look at Valentino, which is one of the... Everyone knows Valentino. It's a um, very high fashion runway. Um, I think they have the same pattern as Gucci followed it. Gucci is doing a huge um, embroidery pattern, um, many reds, many poppies, um, those things. So, uh, you know, when I'm looking through any kind of fashion magazines, any things, blogs online, is they're really hitting the mark with um, um, this kind of... Um, uh, Ukrainian uh, background, I guess. So um, whether it's an intentional thing or not, not too sure, but uh, it's just blowing up. It's interesting to see that people who have no um, connection whatsoever, you know, maybe they have Ukrainian friends, and that's it. You know, they are uh, also buying things from us, and uh, some of the trends would be, you know, cultures that are somehow similar or, uh, you know, very close in terms of, like, type of embroidery or type of colors. So that will be like, you know, Mexican, uh, people coming with Mexican background or, you know, from uh, Spanish background. Some people from Latin America's uh, countries, you know, like they also uh, buy in either the scarves. Of course, they would not probably buy the typical traditional impression of Shivanka, like the blouse. But, you know, they are uh, looking at colors and just, you know, yeah, this is something similar to, you know, like very close to our culture. And like, I would definitely wear it because it looks mm -hmm. beautiful.